Our chakras are just vibrating off the table here. I totally love Jeannie's um, concept of that. And we, on the break, were talking. I was like, wow, where'd you learn that? And she said, well, I just kind of figured it out myself. So we're going to get back to that. But right now we want to focus a little bit on Don. And uh, again, uh, at 93, you look marvelous, darling. And I was going to ask... Uh, Right off the bat, just kind of a silly question, but after all these years of being in nightclubs and on tour and everything, how did you manage to stay so awesomely healthy, good looking, when all we hear about is secondhand smoke and, you know, drink you're exposed. Wine, Spoda, drink wine, Spoda, drink wine. Drink wine. <laughs> and play golf. Wine. And play golf. And make music. So it must have been red wine, right? Red wine. Red wine. And you were just telling us a little tale about when you were with the Trenier's, uh, uh, didn't you knock down some scotch in your day? <laughs> I, I locked down a whole lot of scotch in your day, <laughs> in my day, and uh, and in 1991 I quit completely. Good. And no, nobody said you can't do that. I did it. Oh. Uh, Stopped it, and for two years I had nothing. Right. Blank. And you started getting sick. Oh no no no! no. I'm teasing. No, I drank wine on that's all. Oh, that's good stuff for the you. The did all of the old talk shows. I and there's one talk show in particular. Shows. Yeah. Where nobody was sober. <laughs> Dean, Mo Dean, Dean, Dean Martin. Dean uh, Martin. How long? Phil Harris. Phil, Phil Harris. Harris. Oh my goodness. Um, who else was on that one? You were Bing, telling me. Bing, Bing Crosby. Bing Crosby. Oh and the Trinidad. That is amazing. And, and we all drank scotch, so the whole show in the race was drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and we went on 8 o'clock, so we had 8 o'clock. Uh huh. Everybody's drunk. Yeah. So that's one thing you, you you made a joke about. You don't remember much at ninety three, but you remembered that. And <laughs> is there anything I remember, uh, he remembers? Everything. I bet he does. Dates, places. Ooh. I remember people. when I, I joined Louis when I was twenty three. Louis Armstrong. I loved Louis. No, now, now I'm ninety three. Wow. Uh, uh, that's seventy years ago. Amazing. But remember, you stop. Were you do you channel him like everybody's been channeling on this show today? You may as well channel. Do you think of Louie a lot nowadays? Louie put something in, in my head and said, yes, you can. So I did yeah. everything. There you go. Here I come. Yeah. And he memorizes all of the charts, like from the Treneers. Not only did he write the charts because he was musical director, but he right. memorized everything. That is, and still retain that to this day. And I understand you still just wail on a mean saxophone, right? On, the, on uh, YouTube, mm -hmm. if you go to Billy Holiday, uh. The, Another classic. the blues are brewing, mm. you'll see me in the band. That's right. Who's that, like, who, who that little cat? And, and <laughs> me. You I'm know, you're still a handsome them. devil, so don't start playing that modest yeah. stuff with me. <laughs> what chakra is he coming from? You just mentioned earlier probably the lower chakra because he's kind of a sexy fella. <laughs> <laughs> and you put a sax in the hands of a oh, sexy oh, I fella. <laughs> Got you one. got another one. Like, <laughs> and, oh, really? and did you see this picture of him when he was when he was that age? Does oh. he not look like Lando from Star Wars? Oh, <laughs> and then some. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They probably modeled him after each other. So. I'm telling you. I'm well, telling you. you know, some people just, it's like the, the red wine you're drinking. It just gets better with age. You want to have a year. And yes, he still does play amazing. And we hope you all will come tomorrow night. Well, We're going to be at the Italian American Club. The saxophone has always been... I, I have to say my favorite instrument. I love them all, but I like all kinds of music. I must have chakras going all over the place exactly. in my body. Cause you don't really come from here. just one. Oh, I, I you hope actually, not. all of them should be firing. Okay. And um, there's actually ways, there's a book called The Sevenfold Journey that will uh -huh. actually describe where your deficiencies are. Oh, we have a chat. Somebody's, uh, oh, look. I've just, uh, someone's calling me. Yes. Oh, my. I am going to what? Friend these. Oh, good. Somebody's <laughs> going to friend you on Facebook awesome. right now. This guy is very cool, cat indeed. He is. Uh, see, it's, it's, you really, we're just channeling something here at the studio that is going out live all over the world, all over Facebook, and it's because you two are here, and Mark opened the door. Now, if you could, I know this has got to be just horrible, like somebody asking me what my favorite book is. What is your favorite song to play? Is there one, or maybe the first one that turned you so inside out, you knew you had to it's do it? It's a good life. Really? Mm. From it's the good life. It's a good life. life. I can just hear him playing that on the saxophone. It's oh, giving me great. goosebumps. And you'll be there tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Now, do you play all the time with the speakeasies? Do you ever take a break, go on vacation? In how many years we've been on? Two, 2002 to 2013. Three. Three. He has never once taken a night off. My he, he's made every gig that we've ever had uh -huh. since he started. Yeah. My other guys, 
we've had a few changes in personnel. We've had guys that send subs. Like uh -huh. right now, Bobby Scan's doing the Sinatra show, so yep. he sends Gotta a sub. Sinatra. But I mean, his sub, we have Steve Johnson. So oh. I, mean, I know that's as good names. as they come, baby. Again, we're talking about the real Las Vegas and just the talent that is in this town is phenomenal. There should be like a, a pyramid built or a place built just to expressly, you know, have all of this there yeah. and of course you need to you can't play for free or on the street corner so you know people have to get a venue where you know tickets can be bought and uh, so that was always your favorite song and who made the biggest impression on you and I'm talking this has got to be difficult because you have no. played with the greatest oh no I got one song uh, another one uh, on my theme song mm. go, go 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 oh go 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 go, go. <laughs> he yeah. helped write some of those Trinier songs you know, I believe but, that. Yeah. Well, Don, this is just really a treat having you here. And Jeannie Thank you just, so much. well, you know, a talent like that is just uh, never yeah. to be wasted. Yeah, but I'm fading out. No, oh, yeah. That was just because I apologize. He had to walk uh, quite a distance here to the studio. And it's unusually hot and humid today. And I uh, wish I could have been out there to, you know, help you get in, but I was with Mark. Oh, there you And go. yeah, so uh, we were talking again. His chakra then would be from the. Heart, Actually, the the, stomach. Uh, it depends on your intention comes from something, but all of your chakras are working and you want the flow to go up and down because mm -hmm. one of them is called a liberating flow okay. and one of them is, is yeah. you know, they're, they're different flows and you want, you don't want any blocks. This is really a fascinating thing. I think we're going to have to make a whole show doing the chakra thing because again on break we were talking about people from L.A., have a totally different where they're coming from. People from New York and people from Las Vegas. Yeah, people from New York listen with their head. Right. They they, they know the composers. LA people are always like, who's looking? Who am I looking at? And yeah. so that's a whole other coming thing. Coming from a whole other place. Right. Generally, at the end of the hour, I do a wrap up of what's coming up in Vegas. But oh, we've been just having so such a good time. Things. I'm gonna and I believe uh, it's Jackie Brett's column on VegasOnlyEntertainment.com under Vegas VIPs, which really means very important people and places. And uh, please go there. We're not going to be able to, I'm not going to verbally go through any of them today because this is so much more fun. <laughs> <laughs> and again, it's on the website and I publish it every Monday. So it's really a good uh, way to quickly figure out what's going on and coming up this week. Um, tomorrow night, we, people can dress in, in the oh, Hawaiian. Hawaiian. Come Hawaiian. Okay. We're going we're gonna to do a Hawaiian night. <laughs> you do the we're hula? We're celebrating summer. Well, I'm going to teach it. Oh, that's We're going to have fun. Yeah. My Does Don actually, do the hula? Well, we'll find out. <laughs> Don, you he used to dance hula. with the trainers all the time. This man is so multi-talented. He would play and dance at the same time yeah. in the movies. Yeah. If, if you show my uh, thing with your trainers, yeah. I was dancing all the time. Right. Absolutely. While he was playing, he was dancing. So I, so now I've watched, I'm danced out. I said, no, down. no, you <laughs> You can always get up and shake your booty just a little bit. Do you play while you're sitting down now, too? Yeah. That's okay. At 86, we, we, we have uh, bandstands. How know, long have you two known each other? I moved here in 1995. Okay. And they were actually the very first band. Here's a funny little story. I, okay. My tap dancing, I was with the American Tap Dance Orchestra in New York. tap dances, too. And I performed at the Cotton Club in Harlem with the American Tap Dance Orchestra, Honey Coles, Tommy Toon, Gregory Hines, You're everybody, right? Walking musical, yeah. So my very first gig in Vegas, I opened for the Trainers at the Moulin Rouge. Oh, Isn't that amazing? That is amazing. Sarah Pretty was doing a, um, a benefit to try to bring back the Moulin Rouge, and right. I opened for Sweet Louie and the Trainers. And I, I tell people I have to be the only white chick in America that's played both the Moulin Rouge well, in Vegas can, and the Cotton Club in Harlem. And now you're going <laughs> to see the only white chick in Vegas who could teach you the hula and put on a whole show like she's going <laughs> to do tomorrow night. It's great. Again, that's at the Italian American Club on Sahara, and it's from 7 to 9 p.m., correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don will be there. Playing. Playing. And Jeannie. Sitting. And on <laughs> that note, this went by way too fast because we're having way too much fun. We're sponsored, I'm sponsored, That's So Vegas, by the Red Roof Inn on Paradise across from the Hard Rock Hotel. Come and be here next week. It's even going to get better, if it could get better. See ya. Aloha. Aloha. Tomorrow Aloha. Night.